At a policy level, at an intergovernmental level, things are working pretty well at the moment. The new Indonesian foreign minister, Marty Natalagawa, uh, someone who's educated ANU, used to chuck age newspapers over people's driveways uh, while he was a student there, and is about as acculturated to the mysteries of Australian, you know, discourse and people like me as anyone in Indonesia, and he's been a terrific asset in the relationship. The relationship with uh, Bambang Yudhiyodong at the personal level is terrific, similarly with some of the um, other leading ministers. I think it's just critical that that be consolidated by much more assiduous attention to ministerial visits, uh, both ways, much broader and deeper. I think it's um, crucial that uh, we continue to maintain uh, those cooperation aid development programs, particularly the ones that are so well targeted to immediately relevant um, security needs as well as economic needs, and not undercut that in any way, shape or form. I think it's crucial that we maintain and further develop the kind of um, institutional relationship between the police and security forces um, in Indonesia and Australia, which has actually been remarkably um, successful in the counter-terrorism uh, operation in the wider region. And just generally that um, Australian businesses. Um, I mean, there's always been a traditional core group, particularly in the resource sector, that, that had a huge amount to do with Indonesia, but still you just don't get that sense of uh, excitement, that sense of perception that here, sitting immediately to our north, is the fourth biggest country in the world with a gro growth rate that's now going gangbusters, um, hugely sophisticated, uh, middle class, a huge uh, consumer market that's, that's there to be a relationship to be developed with. That's really what I'm saying. And then accompanying that, I mean, for us to put all the rest of the things together that really make for a solid relationship, including the language teaching, the cultural teaching in the schools, which is falling away. I mean, there was more stuff going on uh, with Indonesian language teaching in Australia. I think Jenny can probably give you the chapter and verse of this. 30, 40 years ago than is going on now. We've gone backwards. Every, the, the whole flavour of the moment is China, obviously, and Japan still to some extent. Uh, Indonesia's dropped away, and that's catastrophic. And encouraging Indonesian students to come here. That's, that's the way in which you build relationships uh, for the future. I mean, and, and getting young Australians to travel there. I mean, I remember when I did my first backpack thing all the way to Europe to take up a scholarship, starting in Indonesia. I found myself on the Bandung campus um, engaging in conversation with a young Indonesian student guy who took me off to his class with there was some lunatic missionary teaching them English, and I took odds with him, and we had a big exchange, which was remembered for many years by this guy. And I read, and, um, you know, but these, these are the passing encounters that you have. 20 years later, I went back as foreign minister to meet the secretary general of Golkar. I walked into his office. There's a bloke gets up from his desk, and he looks at me, and I look at him. We both said simultaneously, Bandung campus, um, you know, back in whenever it was, 20 years earlier. That's the sort of relationships that you forge if, if it's just part of the, the instinct that you've got to have a really, really intense relationship. And in Indonesia, look at the, the neighbourhood relationship and how important it is in ASEAN, how important it is from every conceivable perspective. We're just not doing enough. We've got to get our consciousness and our act together across the whole spectrum. It's not a matter of specific policy things. They're working all right. It's just developing the ballast, as Ali Alatas and I used to say when we worked on Cambodia and stuff together. It's developing the intensity, the texture, the tapestry um, of that relationship to coin an Asia link expression or to pinch it is a very good one. So that's my story in Indonesia.